Oh, that's a good fish. It's challenge time. Today I'm going to catch as many different species of fish as I can, freshwater and saltwater. So I'm going to have 12 hours. It's just turning 8 o'clock in just a few seconds. And then I'm going to fish until 8 o'clock tonight. That's right around sunset. So 12 hours. I got to catch as many species as I can. This is New England, so we don't have a huge variety of species, but I'll be in the freshwater, I'll be in the saltwater, I'll be all over the place today. So come with me, see what we can catch. 12 hour challenge starts. Now! There's something. Alright. This is. Uh, might be a sunfish. Yeah. Well, a good sized bluegill. Not what I'm after, but still fish. Nice, that's a good one. Okay, I'm two hours in and I've got two species. I was hoping to do a little bit better. Um, I think I might give this lake just one more hour before I decide to go to a different spot. It's been harder. I guess I'm feeling the heat a little bit more because it's like, I really need to get these fish. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see, hopefully I can, I just saw a big bass, so if I could hook him, that would be fantastic. Um, side note, uh, guess what my favorite color is? It's green. I just happen to wear a lot of blue today and my kayak happens to be blue and it's just kind of one of those things. <laughs> I also, I got this new hat. Check it out. Pretty sweet, huh? 
yeah, I'm gonna give it a whirl, you know, spruce it up a bit. I think uh, whatever I can do to protect myself from the sun, uh, I do, so. This is my new hat for now. Maybe we'll see some more of it. Okay, I gotta go, go back. I gotta get back. I gotta catch some more fish. And a cool quick side note is we've got uh, a bunch of blueberries. The lady at the boat launch said there was a bunch of them, so I just kind of had my eye out and uh, there's a bunch of blueberry bushes all around here, so I might have to come back and pick some blueberries when I'm not uh, on a challenge. All right, I gotta get back to it. I'm feeling the pressure today. I really am. Another bluegill. All right, it's about been a little more than three hours now, so I've got to move on to a different location. Uh, I've only caught two different species. Um, I did lose a couple fish, didn't see what they were, but uh, I, I thought I'd get more at this particular spot, so who knows? Let's, uh, let's see what I get the next couple places. All right, well, I'm at a second pond. This is not a very big pond, but I'm hoping that there are some different species in here that I can catch. So I've only got two, I need to get more. Uh, this is my chance to uh, get some different species. Let's see if I can do it. Cute little frog. So you're probably wondering why I'm swimming instead of fishing. Well, uh, <laughs> I basically, I tried casting some dry flies, I tried throwing some nymphs, I tried stripping some streamers, but the fish weren't having it. So this is a stocked trout pond, and I figured I'd be able to catch a trout or two, but since it's so hot and it's such a shallow pond, I think uh, the shallows were really warm and the fish weren't having it. So the fish are probably all sitting at the bottom at the deepest, where it's coolest, and I don't really blame them. So I, it was pretty hot, it's over 90 degrees, so... I went for a swim and I kind of felt like that was a more productive use of my time. So this trip wasn't a waste. I got a turtle save out of it. This guy was a good ways up the trail, so I'm going to bring him back to the water. Alright, so that was not very successful. Um, I had to walk my kayak in like quarter mile which uh, I underestimated uh, in this 90 degree heat. It's pretty hot today I'm thinking that uh, has something to do with the fishing being a little bit slow. Um, I did just go swimming and the water was like really warm it was like bath water so the fish are probably chilling at the bottom of the pond and uh, that's a stock uh, a stock trout pond so I figured I'd go there and like hook a, a trout but I think those are the type of trout that uh, prefer to eat just like a worm on the bottom versus uh, rising for a, for a dry fly or uh, chasing a nymph. So, kind of have to make a move now. Do I go to another lake? There's another one I could go to. Or do I go spend more of my time in the salt water? I'm pretty gassed, I'm not going to lie. Um, the heat's getting me a little bit, but that swim helped a little bit. So, I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe go to salt. I think I'm going to go spend the rest of my time in the salt water. I will try to get some mackerel, some pollock, um, maybe get lucky, get a striper, maybe even get a sculpin. So, um, yeah, that's my that's the rest of my time. It's almost 2 o'clock, and it takes me a little bit to get to the coast. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be more productive. This is really intense. I, I don't know. It's like... <laughs> I keep looking at my watch and uh, my, the time and just like trying to figure out like how much time I have left and uh, I really have to plan it and uh, <laughs> this is more intense than I thought. But it's my first time, my first time doing this challenge that I've just implemented on myself so 
who knows maybe uh, next one will be more successful but I'm still holding out I'm going out and I'm going out in the salt water so I can catch a monster I can catch like all sorts of stuff so let's go find out what I can catch huh so at this point I had driven to the coast I went along the coastline I found a good spot to put my kayak in and I was throwing some rubber swim shad and I was jigging some sabiki rigs. There it is. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, of course. Of course. All right, third species. Quick update, uh, I actually just have only been in the water for 10 minutes and I caught that striper. So uh, I may just cast around a little bit more to see if I can catch another striper just because I'm greedy. Um, it might be really hot right now. It's cooler out here. I did ditch my uh, my big hat because it was, so it's windy out here. So my hat was basically becoming like a sail. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep after it and then uh, I'm gonna switch over and see if I can catch some uh, mackerel or pollock or something different after. I still got time. fish. Oh Nelly, I'm on a sleigh ride. He's just angry at me. Oh, that's a good fish. Yep, that's a good fish. Oh Nelly. I don't think I'm 
be able to use a net. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. I'm gonna tire him out because he is a big fish. Whoa! Oh, Nelly. I'm on, he's literally spinning me around. Oh, it's a good fish. All right, let me get him on this side. I don't think he's big, my net's big enough. I'm gonna have to glip him, which is tough. Gotta let him get tired, then I'm gonna snap, snatch his lip, hopefully. He is a beast. No, I didn't like that. Tenuous, definitely tenuous. That is not even close to fitting in that net. But it's good, he's getting water still. That is a big striper for this net. Oh, he was barely hooked, guys. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Whew. Big fish. You're probably wondering why I've slowed this clip down. I slowed it down so that you could really appreciate the fish because my GoPro died. <laughs> my GoPro died, so you, you don't get to see me holding it up, you don't get to see me releasing it. I did release this beautiful fish. Uh, I don't keep stripers if I catch them on a rod. If I go spearfishing, yeah, I might keep them, but I'm pretty bad at spearfishing, so don't worry about that. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, unfortunately didn't get the rest of the footage, so I had to slow this clip down so you can kind of appreciate the fish. Beautiful, big, fat fish. It had sea lice on it, so you know it's coming right from the ocean. Yeah, it was an awesome catch, and I just wish my GoPro didn't overheat. On these hot days when I'm running the 4K on the GoPro, it seems like it overheats pretty frequently and uh, you'll see me on the video a couple times I, I checked the camera just to make sure it's on because it always seems to turn off at inopportune times. It was a beautiful fish. Big, fat, healthy, sent it on its way and hopefully I'll get them again next year. So a little update with that uh, striper. Um, I think it was around anywhere 28, 32 and that kind of range. Um, my GoPro did die. Uh, it overheated. It's been overheating and turning off pretty frequently now, and I'm not pumped about it. Uh, so I hope I hope that I got some of it on the camera before it turned off. So, ay yeah, yeah, it's always something. So I haven't seen any sign of any mackerel or pollock yet. I've been uh, jigging with uh, sabiki rigs. And uh, at this point, I'm just kind of letting it sit in the water and the waves are kind of doing the jigging for me, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of sitting in the water. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast with my other rod, so. See if I can catch a striper and I'm sure if I do catch a striper and then if I get something on that rod, it'll be all a mess and I'll probably lose everything, but eh, you know what, it's all good. It's all gravy at this point.
challenge is over and I've got three different species of fish and two were freshwater, one was saltwater. We've got the bluegill, we've got the perch, and then we got striped bass. Um, yeah, I, I've kept fishing and uh, I just did not catch anything else. Uh, I did catch some sun today, uh, so that was nice. Um, it was pretty uh, pretty hot today, and I think that kind of affected the fishing freshwater at least because uh, it, the water was like really warm, so they were probably hanging out deep. And then when you're fly fishing, you're really not fishing deep, so eh. So the first pond, first lake, uh, I would have expected to do a little bit better with different species, but uh, you know, I kind of made the decision to try to go to the uh, trout pond because I was like, all right, I can probably get a trout. And then I went there and it was just like, the water was like boiling. So the fish were probably sitting at the bottom in the cool, the cool uh, water. So I didn't get anything there. Uh, that was kind of a, a waste of my time. <laughs> but I did go swimming and I did save a turtle, so that's something. But uh, yeah, then uh, the ocean was uh, the best, the most action, you know, like uh, pretty quickly I got into the stripers and uh, yeah, that, that was a good little spot and I uh, hit it at the right time. And uh, that's it guys. Um, you know, I'll do this challenge again in the future and this will set the bar. So the bar so far for my 12 hour fishing challenge is three species, but I'd like to get more and I think I can get more. So I think I just have to be smarter about where I go and what I try and, and how I dice up my time. So anyway, it was a fun time and I enjoyed it and I always like a good challenge and I was really sweating it at some point. I was like, oh man, I gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like it if you like it, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's keep doing it. Let's keep going on adventures and having some fun. Catch you later.